now Sky Fox is live as crews are working to pull that fire truck out of the building here in North Philadelphia. This process underway for hours. I'm Jason Martinez. I'm Shana Humphrey. Several people were hurt, mostly firefighters. Marcus, you've been out there all night long. What can you tell us right now? Hey Jason, hey Shane, I can tell you that literally five minutes ago, maybe even three minutes ago, they finally got this fire truck out of the building. They're right now cleaning up debris, but around four o'clock, chaos ensued at 7th and Girard. It's insane, never in my life. Crews working to remove a fire truck from an empty 16 unit apartment building after it smashed clear through the corner of this unit. The truck on its way to a fire when it crashed, hurting four firefighters and another person. It's always emotional when you have to go out to, to rescue anyone from a harmful situation, but you know, we tend to go into a work mode, a work zone mode where you don't focus on the who, you just focus on the what you have to do and we get it done. The chaos unfolding just after 4 p.m. today. Jacqueline Paulsino was at a nearby nail salon when she heard the loud crash. We had the windows open and we heard sirens and then all of a sudden it was a crash, but it sounded like not like a car crash. I guess it was this building crumbling. Sam Tashioid is the real estate agent for this property. He said he was in tears when he first arrived. Were you here when this happened? I was not. Uh, I was close by and all of a sudden my phone started uh, exploding with calls and text messages. Ellen and I was on scene to figure out if the building was structurally sound, even removed the truck. That process began a little before 8 p.m. tonight. An extensive investigation remains, but Assistant Chief Charles Walkers wants everyone at home to remember one thing. Our people are doing what they're supposed to do. What we tend to need help from is the public. Just in my, on my way up here, the amount of cars that do not move out of the way or yield to the right of the way for emergency vehicles is amazing. You're taking a look at an incredible scene right now on Sky Fox as the block is still closed. They're not letting anybody through here. That fire truck, again, as you can see, finally towed out of that building. It was deemed safe enough by L and I apparently here to take that truck out. Now the cleaning process starts, and there were two uh, pedestrian vehicles, excuse me, involved in this crash as well. So a civilian hurt and four firefighters hurt. So definitely prayers go out to them as they recover tonight. Live at 7th and Gerard, Marcus Espinoza, Fox 29 News.